Alright, I'm going to make a video that I should have made a long time ago, right at the very beginning of when I was talking about skyscrapers, how to find them, how to um, leverage them. So, I hope that I didn't uh, mess up too bad there, and I hope that in what I'm going to show right now will be helpful in some way. I have two screens up so you can see um, a couple of references here. So what we're looking at on the right side is the same board, but um, I have the filtering turned on for sixes. And there you can see I just, there's a normal play field, nothing filtered, nothing turned on. But what I'm looking for right now is a skyscraper. And when I looked through the one, two, three, four, five to see if there was any available there. There weren't, so I'm at six now. And again, the first thing you're looking for when you're trying to find skyscrapers is uh, two columns or two rows where you have uh, just two numbers, just two two numbers remaining that are possible. Like in this case, we're looking for two columns or two rows that have two sixes in them as a possibility. So if we start here, um, this isn't going to fit the, the bill for what we're looking for because remember one of the other things that we're looking for is each cell that we find, there's going to be four total cells, each cell is going to be in its own house. So right now you can see two cells sharing a house so that's not going to work. Now here's two cells in a column those would work. They're in two different houses, so we can hold on and keep a, them as a reference. Now if we look over here, here's two cells only in this column, but when you look at them, you don't have uh, at least a right angle in there, because that's one of the things you're going to need, at least uh, a right angle. And also you're, you're noticing that uh, these two cells are in one house, these two are in another, so that's also not going to work for what we're looking for. Here you have a column that has three cells, that won't work. Here's a column that has four cells, that won't work. Here's a column that has two cells. So now we can compare it with the other two columns we have. Does this, these two cells here line up with these two cells? No. But these two cells line up with these two cells in the form of a skyscraper. And you can see over here I actually have this colored so it stands out more. So one thing you're going to notice about skyscrapers is they're always going to look like a, a letter U that has uh, two different length ends on it. So right now this is an upside down U so I guess you could say an N also but I always like to refer to it as a U. So you can see um, here would be the base of the U and then this is one leg of the U traveling up and this is the other leg and you can see that the, the very top of the uh, U here is staggered. It's not the same length. If it was the same length we'd actually be looking at a, a box or a rectangle or a square which would be an X-wing. So it looks pretty much just like an X-wing but it's got a staggered end on it so that's what makes it a skyscraper. Um, the fact that we found two columns or two rows where only two cells exist, the fact that it makes a U shape, the fact that the ends of the U are staggered, they're not directly across from each other. So those are things you're going to be looking for when you're trying to find a skyscraper. And I colored blue obviously just so you could see the um, formation of the U, but these green cells that I have in here are the actual um, four main reference points for the skyscraper. And going back to what we do with skyscrapers is once you once you find one, the uh, two cells that are staggered are going to cite each other to find cells that they both see. And right now I'm filtered on sixes so we're, lo we're looking at sixes. So this cell and this cell can both see this one. This is the only cell that can be seen by this and by this. So 
because we know that, that means that a 6 cannot exist here. And you'll be able to see all of the uh, more details of this in my other skyscraper videos, but this was more of just to kind of go over the overview again of how to find skyscrapers, how to um, actually identify what makes it a skyscraper, how it's formed, how it looks. I hope that was helpful. <laughs> Thanks.